Before I start with this vlog, uh, first I'm going to thank everyone what commented and liked on the last vlog. One of the comments stood out from Richard Rich Hall. Uh, we mentioned about flash flooding. Now I actually did cover this in the last vlog, but I didn't uh, edit it into the into the vlog itself. So yes, Rich, really good point. We are aware of flash floods and I'm going to cut to the story now and I'm going to let me myself explain the story what happened back in 2008. It's always nice to camp next to a river. Uh, it can be cold during the night but one thing what we learned way back in 2008 we're down in Morocco and we was actually near uh, Todra and Dad's Gorge and I think about four days previous uh, there was some German vehicles some German overlanders out there and I think there may have been in Land Rovers or Toyotas and they camped right next to the the river what they didn't know were 30 kilometers away up in the mountains was a thunderstorm and without seeing too much in the middle of the night they had a bit of a flash flood and they got swept away seriously about this camping next to rivers it may be idyllic but sure caution okay sure caution at least get off to one side maybe keep a window open at night so you can hear the water coming if, if, if there's a flash flood and uh, hopefully we shouldn't have too much of a problem in this but if you saw dad's gorge four days after this flash flood it moved concrete so uh, word of warning we've had a great four days here and uh, like I say, it's been one of the best park ups we've ever been to. However, this morning we're pushing on. We're going to start pushing south. Uh, the first obstacle is getting back up this. So, uh, yeah. I'm not going to mess about this time. Uh, I'm going to put the vehicle in low box. Uh, I don't think I need to put the diff lock locks on, but this vehicle has got a central diff lock and a rear diff lock. Uh, yeah, let me show you. So this is the rear diff lock, that's the central diff lock. We have got this one which is disengaged at the moment and that's the PTO. And then here we've got normal road use, we've got neutral and then a low ratio gearbox. So that's what I'm going to put it into this morning to actually get up this hill. The idea of putting it into a low low box, low gearbox, is basically gives you a lot more control over the engine, the revs of the engine, and you're, you're enabled to crawl a lot slower. This means, as opposed to a normal high box, where you've got to slip the clutch. We're in low box first gear, and I would imagine the top speed of this now would be around about six mile an hour, so walking speed at top speed. Uh, so yeah, it just gives you a lot more control. So obstacle now is this tree which we had to bend back when we actually came down here. So uh, this is over to Helen. That's your job. Cheers. We're out. All those 
Forget what I've said about all the beauty spots. We've come to a IKEA car park. I want to show you around here because I think even on the last video we talked about the best spot we've ever, you know the best nights camping we've ever had in in the in the national park, and yet two or three days later we're in this IKEA car park and. The reviews say it's a good location, but uh, my thoughts are Jesus Christ. I'm going to take you. I, uh, you're all right. I'm going to take you a quick walk around this place because I think it's absolutely crazy. Whichever direction I'm looking, there's more drums. Can't understand. They've all got the solar panels out. Don't know what's going on there. Look at this. Row after row after row. The motor homes. I know what I'm thinking, I know what probably you're thinking, but uh, yeah, it's like being back at home in Doncaster. Just can't believe it. Cannot believe it whatsoever. So you're probably thinking, what are we doing in the middle of a shopping centre car park in the middle of Mercia? Yesterday, we had the bike rack, uh, another nut on the bike rack uh, snap. So we've actually come into Mercia because we know we, we hope, well, we're hoping that we're going to find a fabricator to weld two flanges on the bike rack. That this is what I'm after. So I think part of the problem is the bolts what we've used for the swivels are not like a British standard bolt that I did make a comment at the time that the bolts didn't have uh, some identification marks on there and yeah I think I think the problem is the bolts but regardless I think looking at the design now we would be much better much better in uh, welding two flanges on there so yes we're in Mercia we just found the first location possible just to park up and as you can see this is a long, long way off from the last park of what we did. Uh, but we're here for a purpose, so stick with us today and let's try to find a fabricator. So we have found a, a fabricator. Speak very little English, however, I think through pointing, drawings, yeah, a lot of suggestions. I think we found a guy what can make us a couple of brackets and weld it to the bike rack. So we're just here now, we're going to take the bike off, we're going to reverse the camper into the garage and hopefully, hopefully, get this uh, little problem sorted. Going travelling, what language do you learn? You need to learn French, Spanish, possibly a bit of German. Got my spanners in the truck, haven't I? I'm managing the spanners. 
Do you need anything getting? Uh, I'll be fine with these, I think. I'll manage. Okay, battery's disconnected. So we should be good to go. Right, all done. Hopefully, touch wood, uh, there's going to be no more problems. So, let's find another national park. I'm going to search for some waterfalls called Rio Mundo. They're just north of the national park, or in the north part of the national park where we are. And it's one of our first stop-offs. So we've just got a glimpse of the falls, but it's uh, got to go up and climb up to them or something. So a little bit unsure. certainly much colder than what it were this morning uh, we fill the water up fill for some diesel shorts and t-shirt really nice and warm and uh, yeah we're in the shade now there's a little bit of a breeze it's cold So I think it's been worth a climb. It's only about 800 metres from the car park, so it's, it's not too bad at all. But yeah, what a nice waterfall this is. We can imagine this place gets really busy in the, uh, in the summer months. Really nice, worth a visit. So yeah, nice little short visit. We're gonna now go back to the camper and have lunch. So, uh, yeah. what's for lunch? a nice little park up for the night we are in a national park and this is the Cazola National Park uh, not too far away uh, northwest of Mercia massive massive national park and hopefully if we don't get moved on uh, we'll be stopping here just for the night next time thanks for watching everybody <laughs>